Hi, my name is Jennifer Ventura, and I'm your instructor for the Educational Technology Training Workshop. And the purpose of this video is to give you more information about how to access this course online, as well as some important features that will help you along the way. So when you log on to the course, you'll see that there are multiple folders. If you click on the Start Here folder, this is going to give you more information about the workshop and the courses that are offered. So when I click on this folder, it will drop down and you'll have information about the workshop overall. This is just a quick overview um, of the workshop that explains information about the goals, the outcomes, as well as the target audience. There's also a link to a video that provides an overview of the overall district technology training plan. So if you're interested in learning more about the five-day workshop, um, as well as how the plan was developed, you can watch this video. In addition, there's an educational technology training support site. So if you click on this, it will take you to a website that houses a number of resources related to the district technology training plan. Um, and it also provides more resources, support resources for you to access on your own. The next section is the workshop leader bio. So this is a um, link to a video that is a bio, um, an introduction video um, all about me. So you can learn more about your course instructor. And then it, if at any time during the course um, you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me by using the virtual office discussion forum. So the next section of this course is day three of the workshop. And the title of day three is Creating Opportunities for Authentic Audiences. So this course covers methods for increasing authentic audiences um, for student work. So I'm just going to walk you through what this um, day in the workshop looks like. So um, once again, it starts off with an overview. So when you click on the course overview, this is going to explain the what of the course, um, including some of the prerequisites that you need to know and the content that you'll learn. It will have the where and how you'll be accessing this information online. The how is really what you'll be doing in the course. And then the why explains the alignment with standards. Next is the course lecture. The course lecture provides you with important information about authentic audiences and blogging. And so when you're interacting um, with this lecture, there is multimedia um, opportunities for you. So there's some articles for you to read um, about the value of authentic audience and why you should start blogging and how to do it, as well as a video for you to watch and some questions for you to think about while you're watching that video. And then finally, it explains the follow-up activities that will follow in this course. Next is the introduction. So since we'll be working with um, several colleagues from the district, this is your chance to introduce yourself to the other participants in the course. Um, and you can really feel free to be creative with this. You can choose any way to introduce yourself. Um, if you're comfortable with just writing a paragraph, if you want to include pictures, maybe a quick introduction video, or it'd be really great if you have your own blog post to post a link to um, a blog that introduces yourself to everyone in the course. Um, and then if you click on here, there's some information that you need to include in your introduction, um, including your name, your profession, um, such as what grade you teach at, maybe what school you're at, your experience in education, your interests, and then why you think technology is important in education. After you introduce yourself, you're ready to start activity one. When you click on activity one, this will take you directly to a Word document. Once you open this Word document, the directions will be included at the top. Um, and this is really an exploration for you to be able to explore different blogs and then critique them. So you're gonna take a look at EduBlogs, KidBlog, and WordPress. And when you click on this link, it will take you um, directly to the website so that you can do a little bit of exploring on your own. Um, once you're on that website, you can use this to record things that you like about the blog and things that you don't like about the blog. And then once you've completed activity one, you'll be able to participate in your second discussion board um, to discuss sort of what you learned from the activity. So you can share a little bit about your initial thoughts about blogging in the classroom. And then after you completed the lecture and activity one, have any of those thoughts changed? 
which blogging website was your favorite and just a quick little description of why. Um, how you think you might start using blogging um, in your classroom or how do you think this will benefit your students as well as if you anticipate any challenges with blogs. Um, oh, let me go back to the blogging in the classroom. Um, so for this blog, there's a grading rubric for participation for you to follow. So make sure you click on this. Um, the expectation is that you're answering all of the questions that were bulleted. If you'd like to include more information, that's great. But then please make sure that you respond thoughtfully to at least two other colleagues um, by the deadline. So make sure that you're um, either connecting with something they said, maybe posing a question to that colleague, um, but making sure that you're opening up the communication. Once you've completed the blogging in the classroom discussion board, you'll have your final activity where you'll get to apply the information that you've learned from the lecture and the blogging um, exploration activity. So for the lesson plan activity, you're going to create a lesson plan that incorporates blogging in order to increase opportunities for authentic audiences. You can attach your lesson plan as a Word document or you can also feel free to use Google Docs. You can use any lesson plan template that you'd like, but just make sure it includes the following, the curriculum standard that you're teaching, the lesson objective, a brief overview of the activities. So maybe a sentence or two about what you'll be doing, what are the students expected to do, how are the students gonna show their understanding, um, and this can incorporate how you're using blogs, and then how are you going to assess them with that blog. Um, if you look over on this side, um, it has the grading rubric, the lesson plan rubric, so make sure that you um, take a look at this before you um, complete your activity. And then once you've finished your um, day three and once you've finished your workshops, you can uh, participate in the workshop evaluation survey. When you click on this link, it will take you to a number of questions for you to reflect on what you've learned in the course. And that's it. Remember, if you have any questions at any time, to feel free to access the virtual office, um, and I'll be in touch. Thank you.